failure come to me, it kicks it out. And I tell myself, it's impossible for me to not have to be broke because of who I am. It's an illusion. It's not even a true portrayal of who I am. It's impossible. Say that, it's impossible, it's impossible for me to be defeated. Say it again, it's impossible, it's impossible for me to be defeated. It's impossible for me to be defeated. Come on, go, go and get a Reverend Ike spirit. You can't lose with what I use. Come on. Come, come on, let's talk for a minute. Tell the devil, you, you can speak to the devil, whoever he is, that there, there is no serum or antidote that can work against what I have. You don't have nothing to cancel this right here. I'm a wonder in the earth. God even marvels at me because he created me and stood back and marveled at his hand. He's amazed at the creature that he created. How powerful. I think another translation says how bold, how audacious, how glorious he is. Hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Come on, say thank you. You're thanking me, God, now for who you are. Come on, say thank you, Lord. Put the Bible, put my Bible up to something, Lord. Come on, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Now we got to say, I am a wonder in the earth. God Almighty. Hallelujah. The enemy baffles at me. Thank you. Never be defeated. So you break the cycle by using the same law of repetition to create a new cycle that reprograms you your behavior, your beliefs, and so forth, so on. And that's, that's, that's what's going on even here. I don't hate to use that word, but you, you just take it for what it means. We are, we, are, we are being reprogrammed to think differently. Me too, now, because I, I had to struggle a little bit with you know, how far to go teach, but now I got over the struggles. But we are being reprogrammed to think differently. Because, see, I understand the game. So, I'm going to reverse this thing. I'm going to become the gamer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Don't hate the player. I like it. Don't hate the player. That's it. Hate the game. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. That's exactly right. So we 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 are we are break. I'm gonna say this quick, and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close on this one right quick uh, for today. <laughs> this is another way of looking at this thing. Patterns. It, see, by by programming, you create patterns in your mind where the, where everything you act automatically without thinking. That's that's it's acting on an autopilot pattern. Another way to describe it is that our brains, these patterns are like frequencies. So people are operating on frequencies. This is how you can walk in a room and automatically connect with certain people. They are on your frequency. This is why you walk in and this, there's something disconnect. You know I was going. That you can't, because what's happening is they're nice and all, but they're not on your frequency. That's it. That's it. They ain't on your frequency. It ain't personal. Moms call it long handle spoon. Hello. Goodbye. Not on your frequency. Make sure. Make sure. Don't deal with people that's not on your frequency. Now, it's positive and negative. It can pull you up if it's higher. They will pull you down if it's lower. Yes, yes. Yes. Loves it. It ain't gonna tear by itself. That's right. 
frequency. Another good one here. So check your, if you keep being attracted to the same bad people, you got to now check your frequency because there's something on your frequency. That's attracting the wrong kind of, change your frequency. Change the channel. It's another way of, just, we just dealing with this. We can check, check, you got to, that's what you got to do. That's it, got, got, got to change the channel. Too much, that's this, that's right. There's it's too much static on here. Get them off your frequency. It's too much static. So, we're going to use that law of repetition. Now, I'm going to talk about this next Sunday some more, so for 10 to 10, so I don't want to uh, uh, keep it too long. So, I'm, I'm going to go back in this, and we're going to have Bible study lesson next Sunday. We're going to do this thing again. We're going to go a little bit more deeper in this thing, because I want to, you're going to have to, you're going to get this right here. We're going to work with that law of repetition, because we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, this, this, this cycle works right here. We're going to create this thing. Let's close the day with this right here. It's closed. I want you to just turn to somebody and tell them it's time to get out of the spin zone. The cycle. Come on, tell them it's time to get out of the spin zone. So you've been on the spin wheel long enough. It's time to get out of the spin zone now. We've been in this place long enough. We've been here too long. What, the, what God told Joshua, and then when they got ready to go, you done been around this mountain long enough. It's time to go into the promised land and possess the promises of God. You done been in this place long enough. It's time to get out of the spin zone. And that's what it is. It's a spin zone. You just, you, you're on a wheel going round and round and round and round. It's time to get off this wheel, baby. It's time to get off the spin zone. You gotta break this spike cycle. Break this chain of these events. Why? By, by creating another whole cycle of things that I want. And how do I do that? By rehearsing. Saying. I've been saying it to y'all. Say this to yourself. I taught this years ago, and I'm going to bring it back up just this little one part, that they say that if you can hold a thought for 17 seconds, the mind can no longer differentiate between it being a thought and something actually existing in reality. All you got to do is be able to hold it for 17 seconds. In other words, if you hold it for 17 seconds, the subconscious will automatically adopt it as having taken place. That's why the Bible tells me I think on these things and say these things because you get your place with a subconscious. If it, if it says in your subconscious mind and spirit that this is real, then it begins to kick out everything that doesn't affirm, reaffirm, or confirm what it is that you're thinking about. It'll kick it out. All you got to do is try to sit down. That's why when we sit there quietly, you notice how the, uh, how the enemy or something bombards your mind with constant stuff. He's trying to break your train of thought. Because if you can hold that thought for 17 seconds, the mind begins to act like it, it is actually true. It can't differentiate it being a thought or in reality, so it becomes just real. Yeah. Now, if science can prove that, why do you think Paul is writing about whatsoever things are just and pure and holy? To think on these things. He's trying to get you to get into a place and a posture. Why God told Joshua and Moses told Joshua, meditate upon this, think on this thing, think on it, hold it. You, 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 you reprogram your action to, to you, you get an automatic pilot. Yes. That's the difference in people who are very successful and are not. Because they're not easily deterred from things because they don't get the desired results. They don't accept it as failure, see it as failure. What I want you to get today is how subliminally we are constantly being programmed through messaging causing us to act certain ways that we don't know. But you through reading and studying and praying and meditation and being independent in your thinking. Not just taking what the preachers say, that's me too and anybody else, but think for yourself. Being taught and encouraged to think for yourself. Think on your feet. Pray for yourself. Meet God for yourself. As I said last time, get a one-on-one. -on -one. I hear what you're saying, but I got to meet him for myself. I got to see him for myself. 
Some of us, the only God we know is the one that has been told to us. You have yet to meet God for yourself, but when you meet him for yourself, I, my life is not based upon what somebody says, but upon what I know. My own personal experience, you got to have a personal encounter. And you got to, you know, how you do it? You can create that and bring it about by rehearsing the word, by praying, by saying, by doing, telling yourself. Hallelujah. In my prayer time here, when I come here and, 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 and talk, my, my, my word now sitting there a lot of time is, is manifest. 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 I'm like, come on, God, manifest. Man, I know you're real. Manifest. Let your glory be revealed in the same. Show me what I'm working with. Show me something. Hallelujah. Make the hair on my head stand up. Hallelujah. Knock me down on my knees. Lay me out in the spirit. Whatever manifests. Show yourself mighty. Yes, I want to see something. Show me who you are. In another way. On another level. And that's what Moses told God. I know I know you, but I want to see your glory. You talking to me through a burning bush and a vibe of voice. No, no, no. Come talk to me. You say I'm your friend. You speak to me as a man speaking to his friend face to face. All right, let me see your face. And God answered. Well, you can't look at me directly in the face, but I'm going to show you a revelation. Pow! There I am. The back actually means the revelation of God, yes. which means perhaps some of them interpret that as a pre-incarnate Christ mm -hmm. that Moses looked upon mm -hmm. before he got to in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Or what God looks like in flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord. Some theologians a little bit more liberal say when God turned his back, Moses saw a mirror of himself and God said, there I am. <laughs> I am that I am. Yes. I am the God that's in you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. That's for us. I'm going to go today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. In the comments, before we go, we, 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 we,